This is Ron with Comics Price Guide, and for this video, I want to talk about the different membership levels, the options that you have. So, if you're not signed into the site, as I'm currently not, you can click on this orange button at the bottom that says Join Today, and you come up to this page, which is the sign up page. So, you have these three choices. Now, let me briefly go over these membership options so that you maybe better understand them. So, gold membership allows you to enter an unlimited number of books into your collection. And we have some people that have 100,000 books in their collection, which is crazy, but it's true. Um, it also allows you to have an unlimited number of sales. So, once you have something in your collection, you can click one button fill in a, a little information about shipping and the price and list it for sale on our site. Now the important thing to note is that there are zero fees associated with selling on our site. We are unlike eBay in that we do not charge a listing fee, a final value fee, a picture upgrade fee, none of those kind of things. So you're going to save so much money by selling here instead of there, uh, which is vitally important. The other thing is you get to see all of the recent value changes. On that page, there are typically seven or eight hundred value changes, and you can look at them all if you're a premium member, which is either gold or silver. The bronze members can only see five, so you're not going to be able to keep up with the market if you're a bronze member. Um, an important thing, thing to note with the gold membership is that you can also have classified ads, you can contact members. Um, so let's just click into that real quick. So this is the information that you have to fill in. It filled in mine automatically. Um, and then you choose right here whether you want to do monthly or yearly yearly it makes the most sense and then whether you're going to do a credit card or PayPal with a credit card it's important to note that our system uses four digits for the year so your credit card if it expires in 1221 it's going to say 1221 and you're sitting there copying the credit card um, exactly as it is and then you get to the year and you write 1221 well that's wrong because our system uses four digits so it should be 12 2021 so that causes um, some issues for people. So I'm trying to alert you to it, uh, to that fact in advance. The other thing is if you choose PayPal, PayPal has its own guidelines. And so they're going to say something like, you need to agree to three years. Okay, that's not with us. We are not making you commit to three-year membership. Okay, you can cancel with us at any time. PayPal is saying, in their weird sort of way, that they're allowed to bill you for three years for the site. Now, if you cancel with us, you won't be billed with them. But every three years, they're going to send you something and say, hey, do you still want this membership site? Do you still want to be a part of this? Um, so it's kind of weird. I know it seems weird, but it's not our doing. As I said, you can cancel after a month if you don't like it and it'll be fine. Click that you're not a robot, beep, boop, beep, and agree to our terms and create an account. Anything that you miss will be in red. All right, if you wanna look at silver for a minute, this one allows you to put 300 books in the system and to sell 300 books. So it's kind of a starter one. You do get to see the recent value changes. You get to see all of those which is good. Um, so it's just a scaled down version of the gold one. The bronze one is for people that, like you inherited a collection and you don't know how much it's worth. Well, you can be a bronze member and figure out the pricing. You're not paying us anything. Uh, we're giving you the prices for free and that's okay. Um, so when you click into that, you have everything except for the payment information. It's important to note that all of our payment information is not stored on our site. So worst case scenarios, let's say someone hacked into Comics Price Guide 
which is highly unlikely. But let's just play worst case scenario for a minute. Your payment information is safe. Your credit card information is safe. It is stored with our payment processor who have much better security than we do. They are experts in it, and we believe experts should field those kind of things. And so just to reassure you, um, we've been doing this for a really long time, 25, 26 years. So I think we figured it out uh, how to safely keep you uh, and your credit card information safe. So if you have any questions, please just leave us a comment. Anyway, have a good day.